In the first lesson of theory, I shared with you how important to have a sequence of the methods and have this knowledge and educate horse mental and physical abilities with methods that have sequence. So horse will and understand horsemen mentally without frustration and fear and get success on his education. Today I would like to share with you and explain how important to, to communicate with horse, to start communicate horse with horse in the round pen in the first level when we just start to educate our horse with human presence energy, voice command and body language. And how these three cues will benefit horse education and develop, very important what I'm saying right now, develop horse mental abilities. So physical abilities will grow beside the mental abilities and support new methods and the new levels of the horse education. And horse learn and understand human body language with energy, voice command, and body language without first fear, frustration, and progress his mental and physical education. So let's think together. Let's think beyond what we're thinking uh, how to educate horses for this many, many, many years by using tools to actually dominate horse to travel to the left and right direction and they come back again and say make horse travel without explaining horse mentally. So say for example, uh, let's, let's take a horse and think about the horse before we even step in and around pen and before we start to educate. Just look at the horse and think how horses communicate with each other. Horses communicated with presence and energy to each other. Horses communicate through the voice command. They call each other with different voices. They even communicate with horses, with humans, sorry, with humans with their voices. You probably notice when they come into the barn and horses asking you so you can pet the horse and whispering to you and nickering to you and happy to see you. A horse aggressive and upset towards you. He gonna create a very deep voice so tell you, you he is not happy to see you. And also horses communicate with us and with other horses with body language. Horses can move us with hips and other horses with hips. Horses can kick. Horses can vary up. Horses can strike with front feet. Horses can go sideways. Horses can lay down. Horses even can attack objects with their front feet and their knees and lay down on top of them objects to dominate them. So we as a horseman have to understand, horsemen and horsewoman, we have to understand horses can feel because they have emotions, horses can see because they have eyes, and horses have body parts so they can move these body parts and can communicate with other animals and us with body language. So my philosophy and my theory, communicate with horses to use exactly the same communication like horses communicate with each other. When I educate horses, it's very important to communicate with horses. And around pain, the first level, when we start to educate this horse, very important to communicate with horses, with horses, with our presence, our energy. Communicate with our voice command and communicate with body language. And I believe only then horse truly will understand mentally communication, two-way communication between horse and horseman, and horseman will learn horse language, and horse will learn horseman language. And communication will gonna start to begin between these two different languages. It's not different if I gonna start to learn, learn English and you're going to start to learn my language. We're going to start to communicate because I learn English and you learn my language. We're going to start to communicate. So that's not different how horses communicate between each other and human communicate with horses and horse communicate with human. So it is very, very important 
to communicate with horses with consistent very important consistent presence energy of the human voice command and body language so we can develop horse mental abilities i always come back and say mental abilities because mental abilities it's very very important it's a number one because if mental abilities will not gonna grow and horse gonna get frustrated and upset physical abilities will never grow and they're never gonna catch up mental abilities and physical abilities all the time gonna be behind mental abilities and horse will never gonna progress in his education many years in a row uh, when we step in in a round pen and we right away would like to right away would like to communicate with horse by dominating <laughs> horse feet we don't give even option and time to horse mentally understand what's gonna happen gonna step in and around pen and right away apply physical pressure with our body language when i'm saying physical pressure i mean actually we're gonna apply lasso in the horse hindquarters to make horse again throw on his hindquarters lasso physically so pressure physically will be touching horse hindquarters to make horse go forward to the left and right direction without even understanding consistent or consistent horse will not understand even if he have to travel right away or he have to travel and never stop so that's a completely different subject or we pick up whip in our hand and we go right away cracking the air or we cracking the horse hind quarters to make horse forward it's a very interesting subject i call this right away human don't have patience uh, we don't have a patient and it's a unbelievable greediness from the human mental abilities he step in we step in and round pen and right away wants to get result and that's where patient and greediness connect to the human presence energy because it's we're going to transfer right away to aggression to the aggressive energy human completely don't use proper voice command consistent voice command it's again transfer right away to aggression because if human gonna clock and apply physical pressure to touch horse to make horse forward horse will associate voice command with aggression right away also and when we point and left and right direction and applying whip with our hand we, we point left or right direction and applying whip at the same time or throwing lasso it's again connect this this physical pain connect to our body language so again horse will gonna remember from our body language aggression only reason why horse travel forward when we applying physical pressure in horse hindquarters because it's a fear and pain involved zero patience and a lot of greediness from the human presence energy voice command and body language i believe as a human as a human not as a horseman as a human when we start to communicate with animal any animal bird dog cat horse we have to give opportunity to animal understand our energy and feel our energy and our presence recognize very important what i'm saying right now recognize our voice command and recognize our body language because we can be slow we can be fast we can be not consistent and animal sense this but today we in horsemanship and i share with you horsemanship philosophy and theory about the round pen and how important to actually apply uh, our energy our voice command and our body language and how be consistent with our with our with our cues and how these cues will transfer to the future education so when we're going to step into the round pen it's going to maybe going to have a first day maybe going to be one day maybe going to be two days depends on the horse mental and physical ability till horse mentally understand this atmosphere will never going to damage his mental and physical abilities only then we allowed as a human start to educate horse 
And I'm talking about if we truly want to educate the horse for a long period of time, not to make a horse with pressure and release, to submit because we, to us, because we create a discomfort situation with fear and pain to horse. Doesn't matter it's a whip, a bridle, or it's our legs. So I believe so much we have to give, first of all, horse to understand who we are with our, again, Presence, energy, voice command, and our body language. Without hiding ourselves and putting our head down. We can have our head down and be very angry. And we can keep our eyes and smile. And keep very good energy with us. And he be, be very delivered with our voice command. And very delivered with our body language. And be very serious if we have to. But without, without fear and without the anger. And and horse will sense this right away and gonna start to even respect you as a part of his herd as other horse and the most important first of all when I'm talking about all this give time and understand horse mental abilities what I'm talking we have to first of all respect the animal to understand what kind of mental and physical abilities this horse have so we can start to educate this horse and progress with our body cues.